I'm not a crisis actor. Guys, I'm not an actor. I'm trying to be an activist. I'm not lying. David has become an icon of the children's crusade, appearing on many TV shows. But today, he is the target of a nasty conspiracy theory. Now only on two, it's a confrontation that's making waves. A Redondo Beach lifeguard and a teenage boogie boarder get in a heated argument and it's all caught on video. David Hogg says his 17-year-old friend put his boogie board on this beach trash can. And when a lifeguard asked him to move it, he did. But then the situation took a turn. He said, I didn't know it was a crime to put your board on the trash can, like, because he just didn't want it to get sandy. Social media is erupting with tens of thousands of claims that David and other outspoken students are so-called crisis actors hired to pose as victims. YouTube had to take down a video today that uh, unfortunately for a brief period of time was the number one trending video on YouTube. And uh, that number one trending video uh, spread, helped spread uh, this false narrative that the students who are protesting for better gun regulation are not in fact students from Parkland, Florida, but that they are child actors who are just trying to stir the pot and who are paid by people like George Soros. He said, I didn't know it was a crime to put your board on the trash can, like, because he just didn't want it to get sandy. So they're like, aha, he's not actually from Florida, he's from California. And then we, we're gonna make up a quote about how he wanted, always wanted to be an actor. And whenever there's a crisis, lifeguard, shooting, crisis, he became a crisis actor. And unfortunately, there's a lot of gullible people. David posted the video on YouTube and in just a couple of days has gone viral. We felt threatened. We felt uh, we're just worried and it's, he seemed unpredictable. Aha, uh -huh. okay, we have connected the dots. No, you haven't. It turns out he was on vacation in, in California and that happened. It has nothing to do with anything. I witnessed this event. Why are you guys doing this to me? I And that is true. But as such, it is also true that I went to, that I go to Stoneman Douglas High School. And I was a witness to this. And people running and- People running and everyone was just, we all thought it was a fire drill because we had one previously today. And we thought it was that, so no one was that nervous. But then when word started going around that it was shots and not just like something else, then everyone just started running towards the, uh, the canal. We all thought it was a fire drill because we had one previously today. I am the son of a former FBI agent, and that is true. This is an attempt to discredit and dismiss the student survivors. There are some people, uh, these trolls that are making up these stories, that do not want to hear what these students have to say. Basically, this video was a clip of David Hogg speaking to a local news affiliate years ago about an incident he saw on the beach. Uh, so YouTube's algorithms look at that and say, okay, this is a legitimate uh, news source. Then they look at the caption to the video. The caption said, David Hogg, the actor. Well, there's nothing inherently harassing about those words. For some people, that's just a fact. For some people, it's a compliment. And YouTube's algorithms don't have all the context to know that, in fact, 
fact, David Hogg is the survivor of a, a school shooting. David, the, first of all, that Donald Trump Jr. is liking tweets, espousing a conspiracy theory involving you and your dad. I'm wondering what goes through your mind when you hear that? I'm just so sorry that these people have lost their faith in America because I know I certainly haven't. The fact that these people refuse to believe that, that something like this could happen is something that all of us don't want to believe, but the sad truth is that it is. Uh, these people saying this is absolutely disturbing, and I'm not an actor in any sense, way, shape, or form. Unless your political aides are the ones who are telling people that they're crisis actors, like... Yeah, I'd love to meet that. Hey, if you're out there, fuck you. <laughs> but, where, but where your turf meets theirs is actually, that's actually a great point. Like, the, the world of Infowars and 4chan and Mike Cernovich and like... And Reddit. The, and Reddit and the conspiracy theory, like, the dark underbelly of the internet is actually where, where you guys are met in some way. Oh, yes. There's a cover-up, Billy. They are pulling videos of this young man, a David Hogg, whose, whose father is an FBI agent. So honestly, it's been a great thing because people are becoming more critical thinkers and becoming more politically active as a result. It's also been great advertising for me um, in terms of acting, because I don't give a shit what people say about me, but they've quadrupled my Twitter following and they've done a great job of that. No, uh, <laughs> look, a lot of people A lot of people are trying to take us down quickly. They're trying to discredit us. They're trying to say, we don't know what we're talking about. Well, until you've been on the receiving some, some end of- Some of them have called you actors. Well, I am an actor, actually. Um, oh. I'm in Spring Awakening right now at the Barclay Performing Arts Center. It's a, lot, oh. it's a great show. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, you can say that we don't know what we're talking about because we're 17 years old, but until you've been on the receiving end of an AR-15, until you've been locked into your class, look, Wayne LaPierre, Dana Loesch, right. I don't know, I don't know if you guys have ever had to deal with that, but as far as I know, that's not the case. We've been locked in a classroom. We have seen our friends text their parents goodbye. We are the experts. We know exactly what we're talking about. How dare you tell us we don't know? We know exactly what we're talking about. How dare you tell us we don't know? Authorities say 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz was heavily armed with a bulletproof vest, loads of ammunition, and a powerful AR-15 bought legally a year ago. Um, in the moment I wasn't because there was obviously definitely another shooter involved. Oh, you think he was not the only one? No, definitely not. So you think there was more than? Do you think there was more than one? There's three shooters. Right definitely. I actually was speaking to the suspect, Nicholas Cruz. I actually was speaking to the suspect, Nicholas Cruz. Cruz was arrested nearby without incident, to the relief of parents wondering if their loved ones were safe. And this is just absolutely pure evil. And Cruz was taken to a hospital immediately after the shooting, but then taken to jail for questioning. He was a former student at the school and was expelled for disciplinary reasons.
child of God is dead. Cannot we acknowledge in this country that we can't, we cannot accept this. I can't do a wolf. I'm sorry. We can't do it. Sorry. Oh. Gary, thank you. I'm sorry. It's just... Congressman Ted Deutsch, help me out of Florida here, who represents the district. Just hearing that mother, I'm sorry. Uh, just, it got me. He was the uh, partner to one of these. He was 37. Antonio Devon Brown was a captain. He, <laughs> excuse me. President Trump, you say, what can you do? You can stop the guns from getting into these children's hands. Put metal detectors at every entrance to the schools. What can you do? You can do a lot. This is not fair to our families that our children go to school and have to get killed. I just spent the last two hours putting the burial arrangements for my daughter's funeral. Who's 14? President Trump, please do something. Do something, action! We need it now! These kids need safety now! There is speculation the Russians may be fueling the conspiracy theory to spread discord in America. The intelligence community has been very clear that Russia continues to try to exploit divisions in the U.S and try to turn us against one another. My father is a retired FBI agent. I'm not working with him or anybody else on this. I'm speaking from my heart. I was a witness to this. I'm not a crisis actor. I'm not a crisis actor. There are already people online saying, everybody is a crisis actor. All these kids aren't real. This didn't happen. This is for gun control. What do you have to say to those people? To those people, I say, have you ever been in this situation? I'm not lying. <laughs> Thank you.